Welcome back to Painting with Riffsley. Today we're doing a farmhouse. This is down south. From a photo I took coming back from the snow. A few crows in there. I edit those later. Interest. There's no crows in the photo. Well, let's get to it. So, first of all, I covered the canvas with gesso, put the sky in, and the hill line. Now, I made the sky a wet in wet technique. So, the white, the blue paint is still wet when the white goes on. You can see I had a couple of attempts to try and get a good cloud look. I put the clouds in wet and then with a soft brush blend it in. Which is a great way to give you a diffused cloud look. I put that back hill line in. But it was quite dark so I did go in and make it a lot lighter. It's best if you can put it in perfect the first time and then paint the trees on the top. But if you don't like it, you can go in and add the tree holes, as they're called, the gaps and the light bits in between the trees afterwards. And my technique here is quite painterly, so it's quite free. I used to paint in oil paints when I first started painting, way back in the 80s. Well, acrylic now it's very different it does dry quite quickly and it's harder to blend it's uh, easy to clean up and it dries straight away so you can work on another part of the painting and then come back and work over the other part if you don't like something you completely paint over it with oil paint you would, could just wipe it off with a rag you can't wipe it off with a rag and it's acrylic it'll be totally dry you can over paint foreground is quite free the way I've approached that. A lot of scumbling. There's quite a few colours in this but overall it's the bluish sky and the yellow dry grass with the dark winter poplars, conifers on the hill there. It's very southern. Of course it's Australian, so there'd be gum trees in there. They don't really read too much like gum. So seems to be a few pine trees down in there. There's a few pines around there. And when I put that fence in, I made it very small, going away in the distance. But I realised it was really getting too small too quickly <laughs> and making the distance look very far away when you look at the size of those poplars there I decided to make the fence larger so I painted over that fence and put the new fence in now here I am I'm changing the sky from the purple and I added a greenish teal to it I like the colour better, it worked better with the sky, purple and blue, kind of. Purple can clash, there's the purple sky, there's a bit of green in it. It was also too dark so I wanted to push that back hill right back and make it closer in tone to the sky. Here I am working on the crows. This one's got his foot up, standing on one leg. The crow thing's a bit of a theme and has popped up in a few paintings. These ones are a little different. The other crows were all the same. Same pose, same crows. These ones I chose some different crows for it. 
I hope you like this one. It's a very traditional painting. Some of my paintings are a little more contemporary. This one's very traditional. Uh, come back next week and we can try something different. This one's for sale on uh, Art Lovers Australia. It's the first painting I've put on there. You can see it there. You can buy it there if you want. That would be the best place. Thanks for watching. Come back next Saturday. Give it a thumbs up a like share the video and uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already still going with my Saturday videos keep going as long as I can change there change room I'm trying to get a good photo without any glare on it that's not a bad shot I'll see you later